Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Azure, I'm here to show you how to configure Azure policy. But before I start uh, configuring that, just to give you a background on what Azure policy is, basically it allows you to what uh, you can do with your subscription. It can be applied at the subscription level, tenant level, at the resource group level, and uh, you can control what is happening because as we all know that uh, cloud is very flexible. But if you don't have these policies in place, uh, sometime uh, the users can uh, deploy these resources and uh, you don't have the visibility and at the end of the month, uh, the price can be uh, really high what you have, far more than what you have uh, projected. So it's a good way of uh, controlling these costs and obviously also uh, limiting uh, people what can be done at the tenant level. So sometimes there is also a confusion about then what is the difference between Azure policy and uh, role-based access control, also known as uh, RBAC. Mm -hmm. So one difference that I think is that uh, RBAC uh, is uh, used generally for controlling the user's activity, right? You can have a user for the role of, say, contributor, uh, owner, or a reader. Whereas Azure policy, it works more at the uh, resource properties level of what locations allowed, what kind of series of virtual machine you can deploy within the subscription or in the resource group. I think that's one of the major difference. But uh, in today's uh, uh, session, we'll see how to configure the uh, policy. So you can do a search for policy, or you can go to all services and do a search, and you can just uh, uh, pin this into the favorite and uh, go to policy. And under authoring, you will see assignment. So let's go and uh, select this and go to assign policy tab. It will open a new uh, window for you in which you have to pick your subscription. So we are applying this at the uh, subscription level. So uh, anything that we specify within this policy uh, will trickle down for the whole subscription. If you have a resource group, you can also specify for the resource group, but I'm doing this at the uh, subscription level. You can also exclude certain resource group from uh, within this policy. So if you want to do that, you can do, but uh, I'm going to ignore this and earn the policy definition. I want a specific one for this. So if I go to allowed location and select this, there is a period you can give a name for the location and uh, I'll specify that uh, with this subscription you can only deploy resources within the Canadian location and uh, for allowed location I'll pick Central and East make it Canada location only and click on assign the policy is assigned successfully, so we are good. And let me now test this. So I'm going to go to Virtual Machine tab and uh, try to add one machine within uh, a location which is other than which my approved location is. So let me pick a resource group. I think I already have one. Give a name for this machine. So the normal procedure that we do when we deploy any server. And I'm going to pick Central US specifically. Take the built-in image, a username, Most of the stuff I'll leave that to the default. Go to networking because we just want to test this. Go to management. Review and create. Click on create. It's trying to deploy this uh, in the resource group and as you can see that uh, I get this uh, deployment failure. It means that because I have chosen specifically my uh, location, which is not within the approved, within the policy, this uh, deployment is uh, denied. 
So as you can see that this is a great way of controlling your resources within subscription level uh, and uh, makes the management much more easier. I hope you found this video in Azure policy useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.